Talk about weight loss uh, from with the assistance of vitamin D. How do those two go hand in hand? I mean, most of us want to lose uh, from a few to a lot of pounds. Right. So with 70% with of the country being overweight or obese, it's, obesity is a hot topic and weight loss is what everybody wants to accomplish with a shortcut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay? Um, uh, and I'm not suggesting that vitamin D is a shortcut. It is one of many variables, okay? And it may not even be the most important variable, but it is one of many variables. We know that vitamin D um, influences insulin secretion and insulin response, meaning insulin sensitivity. And when we're, and we know that insulin is the primary hormone that leads to satisfaction mm -hmm. after a meal. So that's why satisfaction of meal takes about 20 or 30 minutes into the meal because it takes that long for the food to get to the proximal part of your small bowel where the pancreas is um, and it triggers the release of insulin. Insulin gets to your brain and the brain says, whoa, okay, we're there, okay? Mm -hmm. But if you're resistant to insulin, as m many of us are uh, that have obesity, it takes much more insulin to, to reach that, that mm -hmm. satisfying level, okay? Well, vitamin D deficiency makes you more insulin resistance, meaning you're going to need more to quench your appetite in the absence of vitamin D than in the presence of vitamin D. Okay, so it can help with appetite control. Um, uh, it also, vitamin, the lack of vitamin D in fat cells um, uh, promotes more storage of calories as fat. Um, whereas the absence of, uh, of uh, where there is the presence of vitamin D turns off the agouti gene um, and, 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 and enhances lipolysis or the breakdown of fat. Okay? okay, so the little set point on the thermostat can be shifted a little one way or the other mm -hmm. within your fat cells with, uh, with vitamin D. And then again, vitamin D in your muscle um, improves muscle performance. So when you're exercising and you have enough vitamin D, you're going to have a better workout and a more efficient workout mm -hmm. with vitamin D. You're not going to have the muscle weakness and fatigue and things that go along with vitamin D deficiency. So sure. it, you, you will feel better when you're exercising mm -hmm. with adequate vitamin D levels than in the absence of vitamin D. So that whole diet exercise equation is probably a little easier um, with replete with vitamin D than okay. deficient in vitamin D. So it's all hand in hand though, isn't right. it? Yeah. Okay. Good, thank you. You're welcome.